I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. <laughs> So today I thought I'd, I'd pull some cards on India. I mean, it's such a problem there. And um, let's see what the cards have to say about the devastation that's happening um, in India. Okay, so we have the Japaritze Tarot. And uh, these are by, you know, Japaritze, as a matter of fact, an amazing uh, woman who has put together a pretty um, vivid uh, interpretation of the cards. So, but they're very colorful. Uh, they're they're very meaningful and uh, the instruction booklet is great. I mean, it's easy to read It's got some a lot of, a lot of good ideas about how to do with those cards um, I have to dump the cards out of this box and then um, We'll get going with these India, I mean And I should say that these are beautiful cards. I mean the artistry in here the color of the cards the message that's just layered into some of these um, these um, works of art. I mean, it's, it's just really incredibly beautiful stuff. So, so I really love these cards. And uh, like some of the other decks, but maybe even more so with these, you feel like you really have a piece of, of the artist's work in your hands. And this is the living artist that uh, we can look at her, what she's doing now and say, wow, you know, uh, we can, we can compare what she's doing now with what we think has value. So love these cards such a condition. I mean, they had beat the the first wave, it seemed like. They were doing so well. And then once all these variants started uh, making themselves known, uh, India somehow lost its footing. And then there's all this issue about that they're producing vaccine, but they don't have the right to the vaccine, which, I mean, what sort of a cruel karmic horror, horror movie is that? Um, I don't know. And there, but for the grace of God, go us, I say, with the India situation. Um, so let's see. It's just a general read focusing on India. And uh, hopefully with these beautiful Japanese cards, we'll get some interesting insight into that situation over there. I should have this more focused, really. But... Um, wonder how will the recovery go how will the recovery be for for india my goodness okay we'll take uh, six cards at first so it's one two three four Five and six. Okay, those are the India cards for the first part of that Celtic cross, the Dyadic cross. Then we'll finish up um, with another four at the end here. So India, India, what, um, what's going on for you, India? Signifier card is the four gardens, and you know gardens is earth, and. Um, this is the, the uh, so it'd be the four pentacles and so the four pentacles is seen as you know really wanting to hold on to all of that that is your worth and um so that's just trying to keep your footing and not lose ground uh, that's what that seems like to me as a signifier and um india is almost a puppet uh on a string uh regarding this uh pandemic um that's the signifier for this. Now, the uh, challenge to this uh, situation uh, then is the five of coins. And the five of coins is exactly what's happened. I mean, the five of coins is when uh, the typical symbolism you see is, is are the sick people walking outside of a, of a church. And you see five pentacles in the, as a glass window going into the church. So they're, they're devastated folks who just on the other side of the wall is some help. Uh, and they can't get it. And that's exactly what we've got going on here. I mean, they're producing the vaccine, but they're not entitled to it. Huh. And then the um, the base for this reading, then, 
is the uh, Jester of Fire. So Fire is going to be Wands, and so therefore the Jester has to be the Page. So the Page of Fire, Page of Fire is really bringing forth an idea, but I just feel like this page is on fire, and I just feel like, um, yeah, they're at the beginning of just really being on fire uh, over there in India with this um, with this pandemic, this fourth wave. Uh, uh, in the past of this reading, then, is the Ten of Pentacles. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is, well, it's exactly where they were. The Ten of Pentacles is happy family. This is, uh, uh, you know, for the, the, the family that has, just has everything, all the abundance that they need around them, all the shelter, blue sky. I mean, just everything is wonderful. That's the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles, which is this Ten of Gardens. But that's the past. You know, and that's kind of where they were. They thought they had beat it. They went through that first wave and things were going great. Um, up in the sky of this reading, then, the stranger of fire. So the stranger, I'm going to say, has to be the knight. So the knight of fire. And, of course, fire are, um, are wands. Did I have uh, wands here before? No, I guess. Yeah, right here. Yeah. The page. The page and now the knight of fire, of wands. Uh, knight of wands. So this imagery in these cards is so very interesting. But uh, to have the Knight of Wands in the sky is to really have the, the power behind the throne uh, carrying that plan forward. Um, I don't know how this would figure into this reading, honestly. Um, but uh, we'll just have to leave it there and see the Knight of Fire. So if they were in charge of their plans, if they were... You know, they, the aim would be for them to be the Knight of Wands, to be in charge of the plan to bring uh, this around. Uh, but the um, the likely outcome then of this part you know, is the Tower. Of course it is. It's 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 devastation. It's a hard stop. It's the end of a cycle. Of course, you know, you'll always hear me say that the end of a cycle is the beginning of something else. So, um, but this is just the first half of this Celtic cross. So let's see what the last part of this has to tell us about uh, India right now. The very self, the very self of India. I guess this would be, um, it, how has the realization come to India? And I wonder if, uh, if this can focus in on the government. Um, we'll take them right off the top here in order. The devil. Well, okay, so this is, you know, giving up to your, to the, to, to those things that you know are just not of the best uh, moral value. I mean, you can see the shadow of this devil in these intentions right here. So the hands, this is the face, and uh, yeah. So we can see the devil in this picture, and he's in the workings of uh, what's making this picture work. It's a, like there's a wheel right here, there's a chair. He is the he is the time. He is the workings of making this thing work. So the devil, the government, um, has 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 found itself. In a, in a place of lesser intention. And, um, and that's the problem. It's always the problem. The environment uh, that, that, uh, that that is in then is judgment. Of course it's judgment. I mean, it couldn't be clearer. Um, and the judgment, sadly, is suffered by the people um, or in some respect. So judgment, obviously. So then the um, hopes and the fears for the, what's going on there. Well, the Empress, that would be the hope. That would be the hope that uh, India... Um, um, you know, it used to be that Britain was the empress of the uh, em em uh, emperor, the king of uh, England, was but that doesn't exist anymore. So the empress, so they are their own. So the hopes and the fears would be that they are, they become their own uh, leader out of this. Huh. And then the uh, final outcome then, uh, well, strength. I mean, it, has to, it can't be anything except strength. Um, there's no other choice other than um, utter downfall. So yeah, strength is the is the final uh, likely outcome, and you can see in this card right here that this this uh, woman has completely tamed uh, the beast in a burst of uh, passion and light. So India will come out of it. It's just they have to go through it. So um, so that was for India. They started out as uh, puppets on a string of the government, um, really on the outside uh, looking in. Uh, in regards to producing the vaccine and not being entitled to it. They had thought they had it beat in the past when they made that first wave, but uh, it came back strong. And uh, they find themselves now at a hard stop. Um, the good thing about this is that once uh, we get to the stop, then something new has to happen. And it looks like India comes back strong as the Empress completely in charge of her, of her, of her future and with tons of strength. So... 
you know, it does, it does end for India. It's just all under her control. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. Thanks for coming along very much. And if you're not doing anything tomorrow, stop back by. I'm going somewhere and you can come too. Ciao for now.